Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. I would just go ahead and show you how to apply pudding gel. Just a very basic, simple tutorial. So I'm going to use the one and only Madame Glam today. I'm going to use their pudding gels. Now, I just grabbed these two to be honest. I wasn't sure which color I wanted to go with. This again, guys, was warm peach. It is a little bit more of the pinkier peach side of it. Now, if you guys do not know, Madame Glam, all of their products are HEMA free, 21 formula free, vegan, cruelty free. Kind of wants to focus. So they all are, it is on all of their packaging. So again, if you do have any allergies or anything like that, if you have experienced any allergies, usually it's the HEMA. So Madame Glam has you covered on that, guys. I'm gonna show you how to prepare your brush. For the Madame Glam application brush. This is gonna be the perfect brush for putting gels. Go ahead and prep my brush. Now this brush is a brand new brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna flick it a little bit and then it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see there's a little bit of white things in it. That's glue, so we're just gonna try to get that off. So we're just gonna lightly flick it and if you just do that a couple times, that's all you really need to do. It just loosens up the brush and it will get out any of the little glue particles. And then you have a perfectly, almost perfectly good ready brush. Grab our base coat. Put a little bit on a palette. I'm just going to put a little bit here. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm really just going to kind of work the base coat through it. Get it all on the bristles. Really kind of want to like load the guy up a little bit. I know you're like, okay, that's probably way too much. Don't worry, we're going to take some off, but we really want to get it in there because this brush is brand new and we don't want it all dry. Because if you have a nice dry brush, what's going to happen with um, pudding gels is that you're going to have streaking. And nobody likes streaky polish. And it does take a little bit longer for a pudding gel to melt together and self level than a regular polish. It's thicker, like, you know, what do you expect? Don't beat up the brush, but I'm gonna get her in there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull off. Take your lint free. I personally like to put a little alcohol, some say don't because it can dry your bristles. Just a smidge on there and just pull it through nice and light. And then I just like to like get my shape back to it. I would store that now on the Put the cap back on it and you're good to go. All right, brush ready. Go ahead and buff up that nail. So whether it be a natural nail or an extension, you're gonna wanna rough it up just a little bit. A little bit of your cleaning solution. Make sure we have no fuzzies. But first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a base coat on. So I love Madame Glam, uh, their top coat, one of my favorite. Their base coat, of course, works great. It's their glue to their product, so we need that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer. Push it up to your cuticle there. You just push up, pull down, push up, pull down. Flip your brush, push up, pull down. And that's really all you need. And, and then put it in your lamp 60 seconds. Our little model ready, we have product ready. We can take some product from the pot and put it on our palette or we can just take it from the pot whatever you prefer i put a little extra on my brush okay that's not the neatest thing i would recommend trying not to get it on the metal part but you know what we're not perfect here so we're just going to go through again lightly oops and you see how we're getting some streaking it's okay we have to let our brush get used to it being a brush right it was just sitting there Again, because I can get it in my brush. Now, a little bit more. So I've worked my brush through. Now, mind you, you don't have to go as thin as polish. You don't want to go thick, though. I'm not saying it's a one coat system either. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I don't really believe in the whole one coat. I think, yes, you can you get your covered. That's amazing. But to be, just to get the most beautiful coverage I bring out the essence of any product it's a two coat thing it's a, it just is what it is do you know what I mean so 
So again, don't gotta be too thick or too thin. I'm just not perfect application yet, and that's okay. Okay, let's go in for our second coat. I don't know, I grab about this much. And I kind of always like to start in the middle. It just works easier for me, and then I can kind of pull down and pull up. How I like to work with pudding gels. Because by the time I get back up here to my cuticle, it'll be nice and thin. If I start here, come back, pull down, right? Push up, if you like. And three coats I did do very thin. Perfect application brush is their application brush from Madame Glam. It works beautifully. I showed you how to load it. You've seen my applications. We have no streaking. Yes, that first little bit, you're gonna run into it. But again, guys, if you just keep working your brush, your brush is brand new. And if you have a brush like this, I personally would recommend keeping it for putting gels or buy two, maybe three. I don't know, I just love the brushes. When you're in Madame Glam, just throw two in the cart. I promise you will not regret it. You will thank me later because I just love them. They are great brushes. And look at that. Madam Glam, guys, there's two type of co top coats they do offer you. So you can get the one with the innovation layer, which is just means it has a tacky layer after it dries. So you just have to wipe it, or you can get the non-wipe top coats. They do offer that as well. And I'm gonna use the non-wipe top coat. These fuzzies will be the bejesus of my soul. Okay, okay, back in full 60. Here we are, guys. We have a beautiful warm peach, which I absolutely love that. I think it's so pretty. And then, like I said, the must have application brush because realistically, you just need it. Like, grab two. I'm not joking. It's a really, really good brush. Thank you guys, so much. I hope that this answered any pudding gel application questions you guys may have had just to get that perfect application and not get any streaking thank you guys so so much i'll see you in the next one bye